separating the components of a mixture. We had seen that the dye in black ink was separated using the evaporation technique. But the dye separated out is not just one color. A dye is a mixture of two or more colors. Let's separate out these colors of dye in black ink. The method used is chromatography. This method is used for separation of solutes that dissolve in the same solvent and the constituents of mixtures travel at different speeds. Color and solubility are the criteria for this. When a drop of black ink on filter paper is dipped in a jar containing water to a level just below the ink drops as shown in the figure, we notice that as the water rises on the filter paper, it takes the dye particles along with it. The colored component that is more soluble in water rises faster. This way, the colors get separated. Chromatography is used to separate colors in a dye, pigments from natural colors, and drugs from blood. We have already seen a method for separating immiscible liquids using the separating funnel. Let's see how we can separate miscible liquids. Miscible liquids are those liquids which can be mixed in any proportion to form a homogeneous mixture. A mixture of water and acetone is one such example. We use a process called distillation to separate miscible liquids. Distillation is a method for separating components of a mixture containing two miscible liquids that boil without decomposition and have sufficient difference in their boiling points. Here, acetone has a boiling point of 56 centigrade, which is very less than the boiling point of water, which is 100 degrees centigrade. The mixture is taken in a distillation flask with a thermometer. The mixture is then heated slowly and the temperature is maintained below the boiling point of water but above the boiling point of acetone. When acetone vaporizes and condenses in the condenser, acetone gets collected in the beaker and water is left behind in the distillation flask. 